Oh my god, guys. Breaking news about the Xbox. We now have some information on the new next-gen Xbox, as well as when we can expect to get it. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about it, we're going to read the news, and I'm going to keep you up to date. I'm Lee Stuke. If you love handheld gaming, gaming, tech, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff, please click the like, click the subscribe, click the bell icon. I'm Lee Stuke. Let's get into the news. Let's go. Before we get to the news though, go check out pixelbuys.com. If you love tech, gaming, if you're a bit of a geek and you love buying guides, gift guides, and just love to stay up to date on new tech, um, new gaming stuff, gaming news, buying guides, and cool stuff that I'm into, like Bulletproof Coffee and how it's changed my life big time, go check out pixelbuys.com, scroll down, put your email in, subscribe, get some cool emails in your inbox, keeping up to date on a little bite-sized information and you know news on cool tech stuff you can buy. Um, go check out pixelbuys.com. Anyways, let's get into the article. So um, Twitter.com posted an article talking about the new next-gen Xbox coming in 2026. It may have a dedicated AI acceleration via NPU processor. Microsoft's next-gen console is reportedly, here it goes, coming in 2026, and it could feature dedicated AI accelerators to optimize a multitude of tasks and features. Now, we've been talking about this, right? Tapping into AI, tapping into networks and systems and, um, you know, on the cloud end to basically improve performance on your hardware. They've been doing this um, for games for a while, especially first party games. Um, and the next gen Xbox is really gonna be tapping into this. So so guys, Xbox or Microsoft, I should say, plans to release the next gen console by 2026. New unverified rumors and reports claim. So um, accidental document leaks from the FTC versus Microsoft trial put a next gen Xbox release in November 2028. However, new rumors say that a new Xbox console is coming in 2026. This is a substantially reduced window and could cut the current Gen 9 Xbox family to about six years, two of which were mostly constrained by chip shortages. It's worth mentioning that this document was published in May in 2022 and a lot has likely changed since then. The trial leaks also show that Microsoft was mulling over a potential mid-cycle Xbox Series X refresh set to launch sometime in late October 2024. This code console was codenamed Brooklyn and would be a cylindrical. Cylindrical? Oh gosh, I just want a box. I want something I could put on a table, lay flat and look very sleek with a bunch of ports and stuff like that. Um, no, I don't want a cylindrical Xbox. Digital only, uh, digital only Series X. Okay, well, it's digital only, as long as it's small. The documents also say that the mid-gen consoles, Elliewood, which is the one terabyte Xbox Series S and Brooklyn, the aforementioned Series X refresh, have been funded. Fast forwarding to the new reports, the next-gen Xbox comes the way of giant bomb reporter Jeff Grubb, who shared the following info during a recent Game Mess Decide stream. Exact sources for the rumor are unknown. Um, let's take a look, look at that real fast. So... Let's see what they've got to say. Um, so there are rumors out there from someone who was part of leaking this stuff on the PlayStation side, but that person is now also saying that Xbox will have their own Xbox Next in 2026, whether that's the Pro or a full follow-up console, Grub said. This leaker is saying that stuff is cancelled and that they're going to do the next box this stuff is this stuff is cancelled and that they're seeing they're going to do the next the xbox next faster than they would do otherwise maybe moving the start of the next generation by a couple of years interesting maybe they're trying to play this and time this to maybe try and outdo sony because obviously as you know xbox has been playing catch up for the past couple of generations frankly um sony's just ran away with it when it, when it comes to games and hardware and just like i mean look they've already released the playstation 5 slim Microsoft has to do something to try and get an upper hand on Sony, whether that's releasing the console two years earlier than planned. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, we've got the PS5 Pro coming out. Xbox is going to have to figure something out. They don't want to be caught behind. How would it? You know, if that would that would that would shake things up if they release like new next gen hardware. But they need to back it with the right games. They need to give us new games just on the same frequency. And the same quality that PlayStation does, right? If they want to get the upper hand this generation, this next generation, this wouldn't um, put any next gen console smack in, smack dab in the middle of Microsoft's Fairhaven vision, which is the name given to the hardware content and services business strategy for Xbox's fiscal year 25 27 mid gen scenario period. As for hardware and capabilities, this new next gen Xbox may not just specifically prioritize raw power and instead be the first video games console built with key AI integration in mind. Now, if you've if I mean if you've been staying up to date on AI in ChatGPT in particular and maybe Grok if you use x.com, AI is a big deal. Like having 
having AI, like if, if they had built, if they built something like ChatGPT into our phones, like Google and um, obviously Siri, and to where you could just like ask it to do, ask it to answer anything, you know, it would be on a whole new level. If they could build that into devices like the Xbox, like say Xbox, record this, Xbox, and have it understand the context of what you're asking it to do, would be a massive game changer, especially for gaming, right? Um, Xbox, load this game. Xbox, can you pause this game and open another game? Xbox, can you browse this website? Find me some information on this, like, it would be a true virtualist, like a proper tr virtual assistant, not one of those crappy like Siri Alexa types, you know, that's like, sorry, browsing the web for what you search for, like something that can really give you context and talk back to you. That would be fantastic. So they're they're really going to go for AI. And, I, you know, I believe it because if you know, if you don't know, Microsoft is a big partner of OpenAI, which, as you know, runs ChatGPT. They've got their Bing AI that's part of like ChatGPT that lets you create images, um, they're really pushing the boat forward with AI. And obviously, Microsoft owns Xbox, so we could potentially have ChatGPT built into our Xbox. That could be a game changer. And Sony is not going to have an answer to that. It really isn't. Microsoft has invested tremendous amounts of money into AI, and its co-pilot tech is helping revolutionize productivity. OEMs are teasing AI-based PCs, and AI chips are in high demand. It's not possible Microsoft... It's possible Microsoft's next-gen Xbox could feature dedicated onboard AI accelerators, potentially MPU neural processing unit co-processors that work alongside a highly customized SOC. Other FTC versus Microsoft trial leaks suggest that my Xbox or Microsoft could utilize an ARM64 CPU instead of an X64 CPU. The reason for this choice may be made with AI in mind. Another big reason why Microsoft would sell out this kind of chip is because cloud because of cloud compute. ARM is better suited for this kind of integration. Now this is a big deal. Xboxes could if they go this route of ARM they're going to go along the same route of, you know, same route as they're basically going to go make their own custom SOCs again. It's not going to be basically a virtual, like a gaming PC that runs Linux. It's uh, it's it's going to be its own thing. And it's going to be very hard to emulate potentially down the road for those of you like 10 years from now when people are wanting to emulate the, the new next gen Xbox. That is crazy. They're moving to ARM. And that could be a bad thing for PC gamers like me. You know, if you have a AMD Ryzen CPU or an Intel i9, i7, being able to play, you know, it's just, this is going to hurt PC gaming. If, you know, if companies, obviously consoles sell more than PCs, a lot more than PCs. And one of the benefits of gaming consoles right now running on the same architecture as gaming PCs is the fact that we're seeing a lot of these big tri AAA exclusives release the same time on PC as they do on console. This might change if the developers and studios start putting more effort into developing for consoles and consoles completely change their architecture. What does that mean for PC gaming? Developers are going to have to spend a lot more time on PC, you know, developing and porting their game to be compatible with PC. Where does that where does that leave us PC players? We're going to have to wait to, to access AAA games now an extra year? Months later? Ooh. Being a PC gamer, that's kind of concerning. Um, obviously, select this kind of chip because it's of cloud compute. ARM is better suited for this kind of integration. This is bad for PC players, guys. Microsoft could leverage AI and cloud tech to streamline various processes, including flexible and smart advertising ads could become a big part of Xbox moving forward, as CFO Tim Stewart hints, as well as content creation tools that are used to make and publish user-generated content. Think of custom Minecraft skins that are sold on the market marketplace. Now, this is kind of interesting. And with them owning Activision and stuff, imagine, God, imagine the possibilities. No official details of any sort or um, any sort of next-gen Xbox or mid-cycle refresh have been announced outside of the one terabyte Series S and the Xbox gaming CEO Phil Spencer said in the company has no need for an Xbox Pro upgrade. So Phil Spencer is saying um, right now we're pretty set on the hardware we have. So this does seem to indicate that they're not really worried about an Xbox Series X, a Series X Pro anytime soon. I think they are focusing on the, the bigger vision, the next gen Xbox here with AI integration, something that'll give them a massive edge over anything that Sony could frankly do. Um, Sony just can't compete. Financially, they can't compete. And obviously, as far as resources goes, they just don't have, they just can't compete when it comes to AI. And if AI is going to be the future and everyone's jumping onto the AI train, Microsoft are in a really good position here. They've obviously got, they own, basically own a majority stake of open AI, the best AI, you know, text to speech, language and you know text language interface that's out there frankly nothing's even close um 
if they build that into an Xbox, it could be a game changer. I mean, you could be like, Xbox, create a highlight of my gameplay from last night, and it'll go and it'll pick the best moments throughout your game, whether you're, you play Call of Duty, you want, it to, you want it to highlight all the clips where you kill someone or get killed and all the cool actions, compose it into a cool little montage with music and editing and stuff like that. AI could do that. And if Xbox lets you do that, that'll, that could be a game changer. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm Blaze 2K. Um, we cover gaming, handheld gaming, tech, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff on this channel every day. If you wanna come join us, click the subscribe, click the bell icon, click the like on this video. And if you wanna support even more, click join down below. Anyways, new Xbox coming potentially 2026, or at least being announced in 2026. It's an exciting time to be a gamer. Let's go. See you in the next one, guys. Let's go.